G'day guys, welcome to Motorfields. I'm Rob Hamilton. Oh, it's Gage Relocation Day today, baby. So many times on my Instagram, every time I take a photo of like, you know, my POV or even of my bike with the gauge showing down the bottom of the side there, you guys are just like, wow, what the hell, man? What the hell? What, what is up with that? Bit of a, it's a bit of a different vibe. I like it. It's my, it's my type of thing. It's not everybody's cup of tea, you know, practicality is out the window. You're moving your gauge. The gauge isn't in front of you where it should be, where you can see your speed, you can see your indicators, you see your high bend, you see your neutral light and everything. It is literally now down the bottom and you can barely see it. For me, it's fine. I like it. I'm digging it. Um, I like the whole clean cluster vibe. I like seeing more of the road and I like that you guys can't see how fast I'm going. The bracket I bought is from Amiga Racer. They're based in Thailand. It's like 65 bucks US. It's, it's such a simple job. It just fits straight on. I think it took me about maybe like an hour just because of the harness was a little bit fiddly and um, I'll, yeah, I'll show you I'll show you guys anyway downstairs but 65 bucks to, to just move the to move the gauge to get the gauge out of my face which I was stoked about because there aren't many options when it comes to moving these gauges I know bark motorcycle do a real small one they're pretty expensive though they look really cool and apparently they're at like a just a massive job as well so I thought this is just an easier alternative just really quick and just phew, get that thing out of my mm, out of my view I just didn't want it in my view so check them out Amiga Racer I'll put a link in the description and they make them for what they make them for the street cup the street twin and the street scrambler so you know if you have any of those you can chuck this bad boy on there and it'll mount right up but sick let's go let's head downstairs I've got my helmet here because I am gearing up to go for a ride so I'll take you guys with me and I'll show you guys how it like sort of looks and how it performs and how you know you literally just can't see anything <laughs> but I'm gonna buy another GoPro Ooh, another GoPro for the uh, for the motor fuels Fam, they're on special. They're like 400 bucks with a 32 gig card. That's insane. That's insane. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get the heck out of here. And there she is, Gauge Relocation Baby. So I did do this um, a few months ago, maybe like four months ago, and everything seems to be holding up nicely. How about I'll start from the start. I'll try to remember everything. So first, the thing I did was just remove the headlight a little bit. Now all you need is the Allen hex key set. Um, a torque spit set or security key set and um, what else just like side cutters just for like cable ties or whatever first I just removed the headlamp a little bit just undid those two bolts there and just brought the headlamp just forward a little bit just to give you enough room to get in there and undo undo the screws here and undo the big backing cover for the speedo which is just three hex bolts and then that leaves the back exposed and you can see it there you've got these like little torque spitty sort of guys these um security keys here got like three of those um they all mount like up in here and all that sort of stuff so you can undo those and the whole thing will just drop out unplug the unit gauge is free and then you just move the harness down here a little bit it'll be a little bit tricky to see but the harness sort of you can just pull it back down around here a little bit Right there around through here now I did splice back the harness from the main harness which is this guy there just to be able to add a little bit more length which I'm still just not really happy with you can see it it's like I'll come around this side see like there's the bracket along here and the harness is sort of it's not pulling but it's just taking a shortcut you know and the only way I can fix that is by literally like cutting the harness and lengthening it a little bit which is you know it's not a fun job but maybe I'll do it one day like I'm not I'm not overly happy with how with the length of that and how it's sitting and everything um, but it isn't pulling and I've had no issues with it so far like you can see how dirty it is and stuff like it does cop a lot and you can't have the back cover on still which I guess is a little bit annoying um, they do give you this plate that's the bracket there and then they give you they give you that massive bolt as well so I'm not too sure what that mounts into it's like it's like a part of the frame I guess you just take the old one out and stick that one in and it's all nice and tight so it's not too much of a pain in the butt to actually mount the um, the bracket up with the gauge itself you just use the original screws that it comes with the security screws it comes with that little backing plate there just to protect I guess that security screw that's under there just to stop thieves, I guess. Um, but the gauge basically just mounts straight in, hey, like it's so fine. And you use the uh, the rubber grommets that yeah, that comes with your gauge anyway. Just use them, stick it in there, stop all the vibration and everything. It's all nice. But yeah, I would like it to have that recover on still, just to protect it from all this dust and crap. Like, look at this. And then I just stuck a cable tie there just to stop it from jiggling around and loosening up at the plug there. But I've never had an issue with it, so, you know. 
We'll see how we go. And it's been about four months now, I reckon. About four months since putting this on. I've not had an issue. But yeah, that's sort of it. That's sort of, that's the vibe, you know? Just cleans up all that space up there and, and it's all just, it's all just down there. All right, we'll take it for a ride. And there it is. Oh, there it isn't. A no gauge, free, open space. And that was my main objective, you know? That's what I wanted. I wanted it to be nice and open. Can't see the gauge, see more of the road. And I'll even be seeing more once I, once I do away with the headlight here. It's gonna be a nice little flat plate. Might even have to move the key barrel, which could be, ooh, could be a little tricky. So you can see what I can see with the Speedo, hopefully. I can only see half, I can see from zero to 100 and the left indicator and the high beam light that is it i can't see the lcd screen like i said can't see the neutral light or the right indicator but you can see the reflection of the um from the bark busters here which sort of gets me out of trouble so practicality man it's not practical at all like no no way um the reason why i did it is because i like the whole clear area there um it just saves on editing time you know just in case i have to blur out the speedo for certain reasons <laughs> I can still see the fuel gauge. That's all good. I guess that's pretty important as well. Um, I can't see the fuel light though. So when that pops on, I'm sort of like, oh, hello. And then obviously when I take this thing off-road, like, yeah, I'll move it. I will move it back up to here. I went off-roading not long ago and I didn't take it off. And man, I was crapping my pants, hey? Because if I drop this, if you drop this with the gauge down there, your gauge is gone, your bike's not gonna run. Like, you're stuffed, you're actually stuffed. So there is that as well. So again, practicality, no, there's like zero practicality out of this. I just really like the aesthetic. I like the look, I like the vibe. Um, and so I'm rocking it and I, and I froth. And so to check the speed, usually it's just like a little glance down and you can sort of see it, which, which I'm cool with. Oh, what's going on here, right? Eh? The same with my mirror down there. I just little pop down there, little pop down there. And I like the whole like offset thing. You know, like I got both my like here and here. It's just like offset. So it looks pretty cool. Suits the vibe of the bike, I reckon. Um, but yeah, so you'll notice like when I'm riding, you'll notice every now and then like my head just dips down a little bit. Get rid of that. Yeah, my head will just dip down a little bit just to check the speed. And it's something you sort of get used to over time. It feels a bit weird at the start. You sort of feel a bit naked, like, how fast am I going? Like, what am I doing? Is the indicator on? I don't know what I'm doing. But it's just like one of those things that you do end up just getting used to anyway. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's cool. Like, I'm, I love it. I absolutely froth on having it. And everyone, like, you know, it does get attention and stuff, which, you know, this bike is... It's a bit of an attention seeker. Um, so sick, yeah. So I'm getting a GoPro now. I'm gonna be replacing this little bad boy. Uh, it's gonna be a Hero 7. They're like 400 bucks from here, so not too sure where it is. Whoa, what the heck? Where did this come from? Oh, sick, yeah. How good is that? Didn't even have to go anywhere, it's right here. Um, so yeah, so this is gonna be replacing this guy. Should I just do a, should I see if there's any charge in this thing and just chuck it on and see the difference? I think we'll try it, we'll try it. Nah, it's dead flat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh well, ah well, we tried. What a bummer. Oh well, the batteries uh, have zero charge in them. Well, they're pretty bad anyway, so I don't know why I assume that I might have charge in it. Uh, yeah, mistake on my behalf, sorry guys. Get back in there, you sexy mofo. Well, there it is, guys. That is the gauge relocation. What do you think? Is it your vibe? Is it your cup of tea? Do you prefer it here? Would you rather just do away with it all together and have like a cool little thing and stick it like wherever? There? Yeah, like I'm cool with it. Hey, I don't mind it. I guess I'm just used to it now. Uh, biggest issue is dropping it. Um, otherwise, you know, you can sort of see the speed there and you can see the left indicator, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Can you hear your thoughts? Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe if you'd like to see this stuff weekly. And I'll see you in next week's vid. Peace.